Ladies and gentlemen, I am Star-Lord Nuthor 7, your Planetary Defense Commander. And I apologize for being gone the last few days. I've been dealing with some very angry hacker issues. Angry? And hackers, you never know who they are or why they're angry. So, I'm back online now, and I wanted to talk about the storm that I've been talking about since June 2nd. Here we see her in her full Quetzalcoatl glory and magnificence, the, the winged tail, the giant wings, the serpent-like head, looks like it's about to bite in Nebraska, swallow it whole. Well, this storm, though, never became a hurricane, I felt it was always best to be prepared for a possible hurricane, and the NWS had it on the board up until the last minute, as 20%, 10%. So, we're in hurricane season, it's best to be prepared for a hurricane at any time if you're along the coast. And knowing rapid intensification variables are a real thing, you know, definitely be prepared, have a plan to get out of your town or city, if need be, within under 24 hours minimum. Alright, so this is how weird the weather's been the last few days. Going to be the next two days, sorry. I'm rusty at this. It's hard to get back in the groove when it, the universe itself is retrograde. Okay, so talking about, yeah, how the creepy storms in the future look kind of like aliens. So you can see there, and there's like angry alien. All right, those are storms, and that's going to be damaging severe weather. We've seen a lot of severe weather over the last few days. Um, but the main reason I called into action was because this is what is going on now. I'm not saying it's going to be a hurricane. Heck, I don't even think any major storms are predicted in the super near future. But while I was offline, I could cleaned my apartment and did a bunch of real world shit so I'm a tiny bit out of the loop and in weather that could be a lot out of the loop so this was the blob in the gulf that popped me into action was like hey <clears throat> the volcanoes that are erupting in Guatemala that killed the hundreds of people made more hundreds go missing and put out 1300 degree pyroclastic flows over here and so if we see a giant moisture and heat eruption in the Gulf of Mexico, we should just probably watch it. You never know what's going to do. I know the wind shear has been pretty fierce, knocking activity down low, but sometimes these low pressure systems can put up a giant fight. And, like we've seen with the last storm, even if it's not a named hurricane, it can do a whole lot of damage. Like the storm that just went through that had no name, it flooded almost the entire coast of Texas, uh, Montana. Michigan, Minnesota, D.C., Virginia, lots of places. We just started to pull video. And the biggest one, like 60 sinkholes, open in Michigan after flash floods strike upper Midwest. We had a bunch of tornadoes, um, giant swaths of severe weather damage across multiple, multiple states. So, now, before I have a chance to dive in to look at what happened over the last few days, I am just personally monitoring that thing. And, I mean, if you just watch this whole situation right here, including that bag, bad man jamma headed towards the United Kingdom. It's like an eye up there. But even down here, watch how it, in our pulse, where the weather pulse is, like, clouds pulse up and then they die down. Clouds pulse up and then they die down. Whatever's going on here, this formation is just very interesting and worth watching. In my so, I'm going to tap back in, try and learn as much as I can. If I can, technically I'm so frustrated, I feel like punching a bunch of walls. Uh, so I'll do my best. I'll keep you guys posted and informed. I'm a little behind on everything now. But, yeah, we had major damage done with the last storm. So, Alberto did a lot of damage. This storm has done a lot of damage. We've only, we are only three weeks into hurricane season, so. Our infrastructure is taking a pounding, for sure. I um, hope everybody's been good. Wait, what was that? See, this is like weather over the next few days, as you can see. You're going to get more straight line winds, possible tornadoes. The And the area, the whole coast is pretty saturated, bro. You know, we're like 300, 400% rain rates in a lot of places. So, rain is heavy compared to air or dry stuff. So that'll cause a lot of problems. 
And so, eh, it's a good time to adapt. And that's where it's at. Happy summer, by the way. It does feel like summer. Um, definitely, if you step outside. The sun is shining, bright, and gorgeous. As always, and you are cool. But, thanks for paying attention. This is where I should shut it off. But no, I'm just going to click on buttons. Oh, let's watch this one. Sorry. Totally out of my groove. Man, shit is crazy. Just even, you know, you guys knew all the shit I had to deal with. Keep doing what I do. If I ever mention this shit's dangerous, man. This shit is dangerous. But that's cool. I have to feel like a superhero. I guess that's worth it. Who knows? Maybe I make a difference a little. There you go. Look at that. Hey, look at this. This is what... And remember, the volcano action is down here. The active Gulf of Mexico volcano action is Guatemala. So just watch it puff up like like Earth is sw smoking the peace pipe. Hoping the smoke gets to us and we calm the fudge down. Yeah, Quetzalcoatl. He was an old, I forget if he was mine or Aztec. A little more research on him, but basically like the old dragon, serpent myth. But he's associated with severe weather. This is weird how some patterns remain. Watch the sky, Mother Nature and such. Definitely things are weirder. These patterns are weirder. And the weather is getting more destructive. But watch those down there. Look at that. Yeah, I'm guessing all those volcanoes are heating things. You know, some, you know, I keep coming across scientists who are telling me that the volcano activity is normal. At this point, dude, that's not true. You have erupting Guatemala volcano, which is down here, which killed hundreds of people and has hundreds of people missing, has villages covered in gray pyroclastic flow lava which is like gray mud that can get up to 1300 degrees not the orange stuff we see in Hawaii and Hawaii has now been pouring out over 10 miles 13 miles of lava new lava land and into the ocean over neighborhoods highways roads escape routes for five weeks so that is not normal this is not normal volcano activity we have two volcanoes that one is directly affecting Y, and another is indirectly affecting the United States by ramping up the severe weather with Texas and the coast being so close to the Guatemalan volcano activity. So, I don't know. That's like, that's definitely why everyone on the Gulf, especially South Side, definitely needs to stay aware and technically if you and your family are top a top shelf top level that's right fight club members you'll be ready to get in your car with whatever minimal things you need in 20 minutes to a half hour so with the major erupting volcano there we don't know what mother earth's gonna do maybe we could see a large earthquake that could cause a tsunami we don't know it is possible as your planetary defense commander sorry to, have to tell you that but it's true there could be a large earthquake in the Gulf of Mexico from tectonic plate movements and magma and lava activity that could eventually cause a tsunami. We don't know it been happening, but not in the Gulf, but it happened in Japan. They weren't ready. I'm in a bad enough mood. One day I'll cut together footage of that. It's horrific. Anyway, okay. like I said, I'm rusty. You guys stay cool, uh, and I love you guys, and I'm glad to be back, and yeah, the weather's crazy, but I think we're going to be okay if we can just pull our heads out of our asses. You okay. Peace out. Talk to y'all soon. God bless everyone.